everybody. Welcome to Ocala National Forest. Uh, we hope you enjoy this video. We're doing some camping, some hiking, some wildlife uh, exploration. Um, we're going to do some cooking too. So hope you enjoy it and we'll see you soon. Bye. I don't want you worried about this one. You eat your food. Plan your little videos. We're on our way to Ocala National Forest, but you know, get a breakfast. Larry wanted to stop for breakfast. Oh, Larry? Yeah, Larry's along with me on this trip. Larry's a buddy. We've known each other for a long time, all the way back, like high school, like when he was ripping off cars, and breaking in houses, type stuff. It's just filming our every second. Mm -hmm. It is now. So this is my buddy Larry. Yeah. Yearling Trail's great. It's a, uh, a very old, thousands of years ago, old beachhead. And um, there's a lot of things here like scrub jays, black bear, uh, turkey, you name it. So it should be a good little hike on Yearling Trail. And um, we've already started. Now that you know Larry, you realize that this may have been a mistake. See the scrub jay? He's real low. Hear him? The woodpecker? No, that was him. Oh. There he goes. We got up here. That's one. Cala National Forest is great. Um, it's not even nine o'clock really in the morning. We've seen scrub jays, blue jays. We've heard a towhee. We know it's here. Um, we may have seen a red headed woodpecker, which is always nice. Um, the pineland here is great on yearling trail. I'll put a link uh, in the description on this video so you can also uh, visit sometime. It's great. It's a sandy, sometimes more soft sand in areas, but not very many. Uh, very little cover, so you have to be prepared. Um, sorry, I'm looking at birds here uh, to walk a little bit. If you want to, if you want <clears> to <throat> find out if yeah. there's rattlesnakes, what you do is you find dead wood and you stick your hand under the dead wood. So on Yearling Trail, um, there's a number of historic sites um, and where people lived, uh, important people, uh, people that wrote books, which I'll mentioned a little later but there's one area that has a, a sinkhole that you can visit along with some old settlement um, type things um, things like cemeteries and and odds and ends anyway and there's a sinkhole which i'll show you now there is a large sinkhole uh, it's pretty neat it's fairly safe to walk on they've got these tiered um, levels that you can stand on and look down to the uh into the sink now some of the trails here, uh, they are pretty tight, but it is February 2020 and it looks like they've just come through and, and actually opened the trail up, uh, Yearling Trail. And this actually goes to the Florida Trail, uh, Florida Scenic Trail. Um, we just saw a uh, red-headed woodpecker, I got a couple photographs, um, I've seen some Bobcat, some canine, could be coyote uh, tracks and a lot of deer tracks. It's just a, a perfect day. Absolutely gorgeous and cool. Thank goodness. We've made it out on Yearling Trail. Saw some coyote scat, appears to be, um, but no coyote. Seen some birds. Uh, red headed woodpecker. No roadrunner. No roadrunner, like Larry saw. Where'd you see that? about a hundred feet back last year uh-huh and so, <laughs> so anyway um we've got a decision to make we're at the florida trail and yearling trail so we're trying to figure out whether to go back on yearling and go set up camp i think i'm going to sit on my haunches for a while uh. so we think we found coyote prints we weren't really sure it was coyote until we came to the 
fresh coyote scat. It's got some hair, some berries, definitely coyote. Now if you really love nature and you want to show your appreciation at the same time, you get love back. You get love back from nature. You walk up, the pine trees are the best for this. And, and, and you just hug them. You, you just hug them and you put your face there and, and you just feel the love and you just give back the love. And it's healthy and you, you could feel yourself, your, your health improving every second you do this. This area of the Yearling Trail, if you didn't know what was beyond that ridge in front of the camera, it would look like there's water, usually salt water, that's what I'm used to um, in South Florida. But this is an old a dune, it's a sand dune that you find along a beach, but this is in the middle of Ocala National Forest. And in this area, there is a ton of uh, woodpeckers that we've seen. What do you think you see? I'm guessing a merlin. A merlin? Where at? Larry, what do you see? Bird. What kind of bird? A flying bird. Scrub Jay. Nice job. National Forest. It is absolutely a gorgeous day. Um, it's quiet. We're enjoying some coffee that may actually not be coffee, but um, this is Kettle One Coffee. Kettle One Coffee. Find it in your grocery stores. You, you look it up. It's uh, straight out of um, where's Kettle One Coffee? From? Uh, Kettle One. As Kettle One. To Kettle Two. Yeah. Brought a certain thing oh. specifically for this trip called the football yes we'll get uh, we haven't thrown the football in how many years it's been a long time for me probably going you know, four or five four or five years yes yeah, six last time I threw the football I hurt my shoulder but I'm stronger now So, uh, if you see bears out on the trail, and you're alone, or you're with somebody and you don't have weapons, the only defense you have is your fist. That's a... So it's important, it's important to have a quick fist, it's important to get some coordination going and be able to, to, to hit the bear a couple times in the face and the throat. And that could be life or death for you if, you, if you're out on the trail and, you, and then there's black bears all around here, they're everywhere. So that's a so, wild journey's um, so, tip of the day. Um, so we've set up camp, as you saw from the um, time lapse. No, I'm not a bear. And um, so now we're going to take a little hike. We're going to get back. We're going to do some cooking. And uh, as the sun goes down, we're going to be able to enjoy a fire, hit the sack, and go who you, who, hiking tomorrow. Who do you think would win between Mike Tyson and a full-grown bear? Mike Tyson? I'd take Mike. Mike. Mike E. We're gonna hit the Florida Trail, and uh, that's more. Oh, I see you. Yeah, we're gonna hit it before dinner. So if you can get here, this is a Friday. We're spending Friday and Saturday night, February seventh and eighth, and we're realizing if you don't want to stay in line at the front gate, you should be here a little earlier. By the way, the bathrooms. Yep. Thank you. 
the bathrooms so far and the shower stalls clean. Um, at this point, I'm ranking this place far nicer than uh, I'll say it, Everglades National Park. Um, the damage doesn't seem as bad here when it comes to invasives. And uh, the only downside so far here is the Air Force uh, doing their sorties and training during certain parts of the day. We get the sonic booms and you can hear a little bit of the, the road, but I suspect that'll quiet down. So far, a great trip. This is now a cooking show, apparently. Whee! Little for you, little for me. Oh yeah, it's gonna be some good eating. Not bad. That's so, nice. that collard wraps, that'll be the ingredients in the collards, and tempeh. And then later, fire. Well, last night it was uh, what was it? Cold. I mean, it was cold, <laughs> but uh, we survived. It's um, early morning. Had to crank up the campfire to uh, warm up. Had some oatmeal, some uh, bananas, and uh, we're about ready to head out onto the the Florida Trail, which is I think the Florida Scenic Trail. I can't remember the name. Anyway, it should be pretty good. Still pretty early. Maybe we'll see some uh, wildlife. Anyway. Uh, from the van to you. We'll be walking shortly. Au revoir. Back on the trail. We've got a good start this morning. Beautiful morning. Not a cloud in the sky. It got about 40 degrees. Maybe in the 30s according to our, our thermometer. Anyway, nice little fire, some coffee, oatmeal, and... We're on it. Apparently, I've lost Larry. Uh, I gotta see where Larry is. There's Larry. And then the forest basically changes and it becomes a scrub ha habitat. Um, this last pine forest we're out of and we're in a an area that is vastly different. A lot of sand, a lot of cactus. Um, there are some pine, but uh, they're more sand pine. Uh, smaller ones like this one here and smaller oaks. Um, those type of things. You good? I am. Everything come out all right? It did. And I have the gray hair. These trails are so fun, you know, because like there's so many little turns, you just don't know what's coming around the next corner. Which is why it's good to carry bear spray. This is pretty cool. Here's some bear sh stuff. Scat, I think they call it. Scat. I don't know if you can get this. Put it in the sun. Obviously, it's pretty big. It's not human because if it was human, <laughs> they'd get a hell of a diet. Um, a lot of hair, a lot of berries. Um, really, a lot of. Uh, saw palmetto and things like that. This is a few days old probably, but. And we just came up upon a uh, little low area with some water. 
kind of nice change of view. The bear scat is always kind of cool, although I've not seen a single bear print. Still looking for bobcats and coyotes. We haven't seen a deer yet either, but uh, who knows what's around the next bend. I think maybe there'd be an eagle, but I don't know. I guess there's that water's not so deep. And our final meal of the evening. We're starting off with some um, yellow bell peppers. I've got some Brussels sprouts with uh, on onion, um, yellow onion. And we're kind of moving everything towards the packing stage so we can actually go to um, the Spanish, old Spanish mill at De Leon State Park. So um, we're pretty happy about that. I've got some, uh, some tempeh that I made, which is really good protein source. Um, Larry, how you doing in there, all right? Fantastic, man. Yeah? He's getting everything put together so we can leave in the morning and eat lots of pancakes. Nice. Now, we had a nice day. We met a friendly little squirrel that we were feeding almonds to. And um, the mark surprise, I hope, is something vegetarian. And I hope that squirrel's living happily in the forest still. The squirrel's okay. So, and That's we're it. feeding them raw almonds, so it's perfectly healthy. Yeah, perfectly healthy. All the way through. All right, pop that open. That's what was cooked in the uh, in the fire. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at it! Oh my God! And then, uh, oh, perfect. No, 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 no. Uh, they're very hot. <laughs> they're really very, good. very hot. That was cooked in the uh, campfire. And uh, so, what else do we have? Well, kettle one. Got some uh, sauces here. Um, sriracha. Liquid aminos, Bragg's, which is really good. We've got the, um, I want to say braised Brussels sprouts with uh, onions. Just basically made real simple. And finally, we've got the cooked tempeh with the yellow peppers. Unfortunately, we, we just missed the hours of the wheelhouse. It's pancake time. Dillion Springs. Some good birds. 
got a lot of hiking in. My feet are sore. And uh, you saw, you saw the squirrel. The squirrel laid off the sun of our, Yeah. Right. Yeah, it was a good squirrel. A lucky little squirrel. Beautiful little squirrel. Campground was fantastic. It had teats. It did. Campground was fantastic. It was nice. A uh, little traffic from um, the main road. <clears throat> you could hear it at night, but it kind of wasn't as bad as it could be. Um, and you had loud sounds from the jets flying over with sonic booms, but you got used to that. Yeah, it kind of makes you like a Star Wars movie. Okay, yeah. Um, or the uh, havoc and pain and death we cause in other countries. I mean, luckily we weren't on the end of uh, any live bombs. We don't do that. Well, no, 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 we don't do that. Um, shower was awesome. Bathrooms were clean. Bar barrels for sale. Need a barrel? No. For sale. And today's breakfast was uh, that was a scale from one to ten. It was about a 16, 17. 16, 17. Good. Maybe it's an 18. So uh, this is Wild Journeys. Heading home. Thanks for joining us. Larry, thanks for coming along. Being part of this very special trip into the uh, into the unknown of uh, Ocala National Forest. Now we go back to the known. And now we go back to the known.